Hey everyone, today we are here at Epcot to see some of the brand new changes happening. Let's head on in. This is actually a new drop-off area for the tram. They just opened this, I think, like a couple months ago or even a few weeks, can't remember. But yeah, all here was like boarded up before, but now they've actually got the other side boarded up. So I wonder if they're doing the same thing over there. What's interesting about this new tram layout is that instead of stopping to my right underneath this building, so this was all road before for the tram, but now they turn into walkway. And instead of stopping there, they now stop around this bend. However, on this same stretch of road, well, walkway, they actually still have here boarded up, so I wonder what they're gonna be doing here. And there is Joffrey's. I have to get a cup. Wow! So the left side of the Epcot entrance is open, but on my right, it's closed. I wonder what they're going to be putting here. So many new changes are happening to Epcot, it's really crazy. Especially for these upcoming two years. I can't wait to see it though. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Now over here is the Nikon Camera Center. This place recently reopened. It was shut down. Um, nothing has changed inside. Um, like layout wise, they just made it a bit more modern. And it sells last minute goodies inside of here. Um, right in front of me here is where the old art store used to be. Um, they've moved it over to America. That's the brand new location. So if you're looking to buy some Disney art, be sure to head over there. Now, to the right of me, they have this big walkway blocked off. But it's opened up now, and I'm not sure what that building is. It kind of looks like the aquarium. I'll have to go and see. But still, a lot of it is blocked off. Of course, this is all part of the brand new change coming to Epcot. And oh my gosh, I was right! This leads to the aquarium! That's a really, that's a really good way to like get to the park. I feel like, I feel like this would just save you a lot of time, especially if you're trying to get to Soren. Wow. And I like how all of these fences are sort of themed to like, wherever they're stationed at. Like this one is themed to the ocean because of Finding Nemo. This is really convenient now. Wow. Really does save a lot of walking time. Begin your journey. This is a beautiful one. There's Moana too. Maybe that's where they're going to put that brand new Moana attraction. I, from what I can hear, it seems like they've repaired the seagull animatronics from in front of the seas. You can hear them chattering away. Let's see if we can spot them though. Yep, we found them. Wow, look at the beautiful scenery around here. It's always so beautiful, especially in Epcot.
This is a new show they have here in the land. Um, it used to have a Lion King show here before, but then for the Food and Wine Festival, it was converted into a Ghirardelli. Now finally, it's been turned into Awesome Planet, which is a mini nature documentary. So, right over here, where Innovations used to be, one of the buildings rather, they are going to open a brand new festival center in the future, and it's going to be a massive three-story building. I'm really excited to see that. And, as we walk down here, the electric umbrella isn't closed yet, which is a bit surprising since most things around here are starting to close, or have already closed. Like, the fountain has closed, Innovations is being demolished, and Mouse Gear has actually closed down for refurbishment. Like, the whole thing. Um, they have opened up a temporary shop for now, so let's go find that one. I don't know what it is, but in this area in between uh, Mouse Gear and the, and the um, construction front fence, it smells like oranges. It's so lovely. And I guess it really does put you in the mood since you are in Florida. But really, it smells really nice. Like, can somebody make a candle out of this and just send it to me? That would be perfect. This is the other side of the mouse gear entrance. It is closed, so we have to go see if we can find the new temporary location. So we found the temporary mouse gear location. It's in a former innovations building. Let's head on in and see what they have. It's a bit strange to be in this building again after not being in it for close to six years now. They've got some, oh my gosh, it's so cute. She's wearing a dress that has the various Disney Park logos on it and like different icons. She's even holding a little a fuzzy ice cream bar in her hand. These look to be new, these shirts with famous the famous park icons on them. And well, let's see how much the price is. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. It's 59.99. And all of the socks, these are in the advent calendar of socks, the 12 days of socks. I've been actually meaning to get one of these, but I don't know if I, what I would do with all those socks. This is something new too. It's more minimalist, but it still features the iconic structures of the Disney parks and these Magic Kingdom lounge fly bags. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it has different parks, different park stuff on it. This is really cool. And this is $75. We have another shirt here that's pink and it still features the classic structures and this is $36.99. Oh my gosh, there's more shirts! This is so cute, it has a little flaps that can hide some of the buildings and this is $24.99. And finally, this sweater with some embroidered patches on it. This is... $44.99. As part of the classic VHS collection, they actually have some new styles. They have Lady and the Tramp, Lilo and Stitch, which is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, and um, The Emperor's New Groove, which is also another one of my favorite Disney movies. And on this side, they have Toy Story. And all of these bags are $24.99. Well, here are some new bags here. These aren't lounge fly, but they are very similar to them and they have a nice like texture to them and plenty of space. These are $39.99. They still have Arendelle Aqua stuff out from spirit jerseys to Crocs to hats and side purses, even little wallets. And 
found in the Mouse Gear store is this beautiful tea set uh, from Alice in Wonderland. I think it's the Mad Tea Party print. And I really want to buy this just to add it to my collection of tea sets already. For $17.99, they have these sipper mugs uh, and it looks like texture of the Epcot ball, but shaped like Mickey. This is really cool. They have some of the child mugs. I've never seen these before. They're adorable. I wonder how much they are. They are $39.99. Oh my gosh. Yep, here is the construction update for Guardians of the Galaxy. It's coming along really nice. It seems like they have the whole exterior repainted, just some few touches, but they're still doing a lot of work inside the main building. I really, really wonder how the ride is going to be. I'm excited. And now, I believe it is opening next year alongside Tron and many other rides as part of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. To the right of Mission Space, you can actually get a really good view of the former Wonders of Life building, soon to be a digital hub. This is very strange to see, but Test Track is currently undergoing maintenance. And I, I'm sorry, usually it's so loud and crowded here, but it's completely deserted now. I wonder when they are going to be reopening it though, because this is one of my favorite rides here in Epcot. Oh yep, it's been confirmed. This attraction is currently closed for refurbishment. Well, last time I was here, I thought Cool Wash was, was going to be permanently closed and it was more of a pop-up thing. But it seems like they are going to be reopening pretty soon. So I have to check that out because I love this place. Starbucks is located towards one of the entrances to, war to the World Showcase. It's on the right side. Here we have Canada, my home and native land. In Canada, they have a brand new show called Canada Far and Wide in Circle Vision 360. And it's actually that big parliament building back there. 